Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Niemer here and welcome to another episode of Outer Wilds, a wonderful exploration space game where you try to figure out what is going on in the solar system, why is it stuck in a time loop, the game which is both, well, wild and out there, like I like to say, I, it's, there's been quite a few episodes already, you can find them all in the comment description below the video i would totally suggest to play this game though so don't spoil yourself you will have some budget have some time oh look at that there's a quantum moon there uh yeah so you have some time and budget like pick it up play it enjoy it but otherwise sit back relax and enjoy it can watch me stumble through it so last time i was at the uh, giant's deep and uh, yeah i finally i solved the um I solved the puzzles there, and uh, yeah, and now, uh, rumor mode, right. And I landed on the quantum mode, finally, so now I'm thinking what's the next thing I want to do. So there's a couple of things, oh, quantum of, Torf quantum trials, okay. The gnome I call this, oh. This story held knowledge of no man needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of quantum object, they are the same. The Nomi call this the rule of quantum imaging. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. So I was thinking that I go and learn some lessons. Now, there is a tower of quantum knowledge on the Brittle Hollows equator that holds useful knowledge for known by embarking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Uh, it doesn't, it has question mark, which means there's something here I need to figure out. See, this one doesn't have a question mark, and this one does. So even though it doesn't say there's some information to be found here, there is some knowledge there to be gained, basically. So I want to go there, yeah? And I visited the moon, but there's more to explore here. So I'm thinking like either this or that. So let's go here. It's been a while since I was there, so I may as well go and try to figure it out. Well, wish me luck. Wish me luck because last time I was absolutely clueless. Uh, all right. To what I need to do. But you know, I felt like we needed some new adventures, we needed some fresh stuff, and now, well, <laughs> be warned. Uh, and get ready to watch some stuckage. At some point, I should probably go and explore this place, though. Hmm. Should I? Okay, listen, 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 Neomer, listen. Focus, yeah? Focus on the task at hand. In this game, it's so easy to get distracted by something. Leave your current plans. In a way, it is like a... Something that might build up your character in a way, I guess. Hello there. The lantern tank. Okay, maybe don't crash into it. That would be great. All right. Okay, autopilot, shush, shush, right now I need you to take me to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge now. Will I be successful in actually finding the thing? That's a good question. What is this? Oh, that's the North Pole, okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge here? Yeah, 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 it is. Oh, I've been away for just a little bit and I already forgot all the mysteries this place holds. Okay, that's not it. Let's continue. <clears throat> that's the South Pole. Okay. And... Okay, I'm gonna turn around now and go in this direction. Because apparently... Going on that orbit didn't really help. Mm. This is not really a big place, so I'm surprised I didn't run into it just yet. Or maybe I did, I just didn't see it. Okay. Mm. Where are you? Okay, this looks promising actually. Some trees. No, that's the gravity cannon. Come on. <laughs> Is it here? Like, what in the world? Okay, let me think. It should be here, right? Yeah, it should be here. It's like... 
there's a hanging city and there's the observatory and there's two things between okay and there's the there's the crossroads and then the crossroads connects to the observatory in two ways one of them is the tower of quantum knowledge and the other one is the the gravity cannon and for some reason i just don't find it okay that's interesting uh is it here no it is not oh dude okay maybe we should like go higher up get a better view <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe i should go lower down and get a better view okay that's the gravity cannon and that's the south pole oh dude where is it tower of quantum knowledge this is so weird Maybe it's not here. Wait. It has to be here, right? Let's get, just keep searching. Where else would it be? Like on Atlarok? No way, right? Uh, or it could be. Okay, let's land. <laughs> okay, because I would find it by now, right? Dude. Like for real now? Tower of Quantum Knowledge, located on the Brittle Hollows Equator. Yeah, I'm not silly. Like, it should be here, but... Am I too late? Is it already blown up? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. No, nothing. So I was expecting to get a quantum reading. Maybe it was here. <laughs> Maybe while I was like reading and checking it actually got destroyed. Okay, that's one of the poles. Hmm. That's the gravity can. This thing is also on the equator, right? Yeah. So we go up. Okay. And we follow here should be somewhere here mm. wait buckle up oh this looks like it okay okay i have no idea why it took me so long to just run into it it's quite a big place so yep sorry about that but here we are <laughs> here we are uh, the tower of Oh. Did I grab the thing? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Alright, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, boy. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. If anyone else witnessed this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are burnt or my brain must be. Plum is right, the trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read these notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees, there is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in this entire way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. Touch, it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on the planet. 
Hypothesis, this rock shares are presently significant. We should study it. Could it be that it was causing other nearby projects to also move about this area? So yeah. That's that. So if you look uh, away and then back, some of the objects here disappear, like this tree just did. And there's also a quantum short that's like that one there that like goes away and disappears if you look away then reappears somewhere else okay uh, there we go and yeah down below is the tower we can go into it and try to solve the rear beneath your feet lies the tower of quantum knowledge if you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, well, I'm not, but <laughs> let's pretend that's the case. The center steps, the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. And here we can see some of the knowledge from here. You see, there's like that and that and that. And like, looks very interesting in general. However, there's this one small problem with it. And that's that the steps going upwards are broken. So I need to find a way to ascend them so last time I tried a whole bunch of silly stuff let's try to look for like something here logical let's be too work here be like reason beyond emotions like no more there has to be like something we can squeeze in and more like what's this the southern observatory south yeah no thank you I'm not interested into that right now so surely it's not something like let's just go and backdoor it, right? That doesn't make much sense. I hope. Nah. <laughs> what is this? Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below 90 meters, right? I already knew that. 90 meters, that's quite... Quite a way to go. So this is the entrance, yeah? And this is where you climb it. However, as you can see, since the rest of this thing is missing, there's only as far as you can go. Here's the broken piece. Let's push it. Uh, no. So what does it say here? Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Right. I would be happy to. So obviously these notes will not help because they do not know, whoever written them, that this thing will be broken apart. What if we get here like super fast? Ooh, that's an interesting idea, right? What in the world was that? Like a huge piece of the plan just fell through. So I have an idea. I have an idea. So we could come here like really, really fast. And maybe this is still in one piece that's one idea i have another idea and that other idea is what if we need to wait <laughs> see that what if we need to wait for something to break in order to be able to get in that's my best idea so far okay let's go up well that big piece of stuff inspired me right now So yeah, what, what if something breaks apart here and reveals an entrance? I mean, that would be the simplest way, right? Yeah. But, you know, like... Not the most fun thing in the world, just wait for the Hail Mary, right? Yeah. Oh, trees attacked us. That's good. That's very useful, actually. Hmm. Things keep exploding, but so far, not a bridge. It's very dark right now. 
Oh, hello. My ship got hit by something. I'll probably not need any more fuel though, right? Okay, here's the quantum shard. Oh, it's so majestic. I mean, this is a little bit scary, not gonna lie, you know? Oh, wait, I, I know, I know. We can see the... Ooh, surface integrity, 18%. That's promising, I think. Because, like... That means it might break apart? Oh, my poor little ship. Oh, wait. Maybe we need to fly in once everything breaks apart. Does this thing still fly, though? Not really. Wait, we can repair it, right? Uh, how do we repair it? Uh, come on. Aft hull. Yeah, well, that's not really useful, is it? No. Something here. Electronical systems. Repair, repair. I guess usually this would be like a little bit easier to repair, but since the ship is like in a very weird spot, I'm not even sure that's the problem. Usually when you land in like this weird spots, oh, there we go. It actually moves. I'm not gonna land it here. Maybe that was not the best place to land, but I want it to be here because surface integrity 9%. That's looking more and more promising, okay. So let's hope the Tower of Quantum Knowledge survives, yeah? That would make sense. What's the time anyway? 17 minutes. Okay, five more minutes. Five more minutes until this place... Well, until the, the game, like... Can I? Oh, come on. How do we repair this? Electrical systems. <laughs> well, at least we have something to do while waiting. <laughs> there we go, repaired. Nice. Anything else, Mr. Ship? Anything else you need help with? Mm. Outer Wilds, Ventures. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, is this the, is this the drone launcher? It looks like a drone launcher. Wait. Ship has its own drone. It's so cool, actually. All right. So now we just need to wait. I think. So surface integrity nine percent. So next thing hits this thing, it's gonna blow apart. Come on, Mister Lantern. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. This looks promising. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Maybe. Can we actually imagine being able to control these where they fall? Oh, this is a booze, I know. It really does look promising. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. It says surface integrity 0%. Oh no. Um. There's my scout. 
<laughs> okay, this is crazy. Oh my... Are you kidding me right now? Well, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Oh my god. Oh boy. So what I expected was that everything else around it will collapse. Not the freaking quantum tower itself. Um. Well. I guess I should stop like... Wasting time and... Going to get inside. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, here we are. This is silly. <laughs> this is not what I expected at all. But okay. Um, let's see. Let's start with this thing. Okay, we need a scroll. Okay, it's a little bit hard to navigate. I'm actually not a really good flyer, you know. There we go. Stop! Stop! Now come on. Welcome Solanum. Well, it's not Solanum, but your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on the giant deep and are ready to depart for the quantum moon. Okay. On your pilgrimage, the qu on your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you just as it carried me and many others in our clan before me to the moon's sixth and most secret location to the moon's sixth and most secret location you'll a you'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon but remember this final rule to explore the sixth location the shrine must be on the moon's north pole okay and the final one. Be curious in your journey. Yeah, well, that's not very useful. Uh... Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be... How do we get the shrine to the North Pole? Be curious on your journey. Okay, that's cute. That's really cute now. Okay, well, instead of getting answers, we got more questions. I guess these are the six locations. No, there are way more here than... Oh. So that's the eye, right? That's the ash twin. That's my home planet, the hardwood or whatever. This is the brittle rock. This is the giant deep. This is... I don't know, bramble, I think. And this is the eye, again. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's the secret location, yeah. So, we use the quantum moon to travel. One, two... Three, four, five, six. So moon moves between these six locations. Okay. What does this mean? Is that its current location? So currently it says it's on the on the giant's deep. Is this correct? Well, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see it though. Okay, where is the end exit? Oh, come on. Oh, wait. There's more. There's this thing, but I don't have a... Is there a tablet? There should be a tablet. Is this really the only way to get inside here? It's so hard to navigate. Okay, so it's up here, right? Yeah. 
Okay, what's here? Oh, there's the scroll. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to read. But now we can easily get back. Yeah, okay. No! That's so close. Come on. Okay. There you go. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to Quantum and you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before the pause and remember history. Something and something and I'm sure there's a frame there where we can read it. Alright. Um Okay, there's a disturbing problem with this discovery. I can only see it after the thing explodes. Oh no. At least that's the only way I know how to get in after the planet gets blown apart. Um All right. Great success! <laughs> uh, uh, the life works in mysterious ways. I didn't think it's gonna go down that way. I thought everything else was gonna blow apart and I'm gonna walk in or fly in or whatever. Oh, cool. Oh! The Nomad built a shrine of Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. I guess that's what we learned from the last scroll, right? But I'll definitely redo that. The sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the secret location, the shrine on the Quantum Moon must be on the moon's north pole. Yeah, I don't know what does that mean. I mean, <laughs> obviously I know the meaning of words, but like how how to get how to get the shrine to the north pole and then how to explore the sixth location. Like is there a way Well, there is a way to change moon's location, right? I mean, in theory, if we launch a drone out from it, and then we take a picture of it, and then stop taking picture of it, it should change the locations, right? Okay, let's try that. What else? Um, anything that I would like to take a quick look at before we go? Maybe. Maybe we can go where this whole place started. Oh, look at this. Oh. It's a river. Oh. It's a river. Let's follow it to its source. Rivers in this game turns out quite useful. Where is your source, river? Where is your source? Oh, two sources. Oh, no. It's Unfortunate. Oh, it's, this is the source of the river. Hello. The mighty geysers. Do I dare? Yes, I do dare. Okay, if you stop spinning, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna have some fun here. Well, this is not what I had in mind. Let's move a little bit first. Hello. Ooh. Um, this is also not what I had in mind. Yikes. Okay, let's wait for the water to go out and then keep going. Yeah? That might work. Come on. 
This is one of the things. Yeah. No. Well, it's nice view out of here. That's for sure. Okay, this time I do have my jetpack. There we go. Okay, let's move a little bit further away. Hopefully this is far enough. So I want to be as close as possible and waiting ready. What am I doing? Why am I like this? There you go. Woo! Okay, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Done. Great. Let's go. Whoa! Okay, this is a weird place. Um... Did you see that? It's almost like I was like at the at the core of the planet. There we go. This is so weird. Okay. Um I definitely got somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so the plan has a molten core. I should probably not play with that. Okay, let's see. Is there anything interesting here? Or just like a useless Easter egg? Okay, there's definitely a current here. Oh, we could take it, I guess. Let's see where it goes. Okay. Ooh, hello. Well, this is useful. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of these caves pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine on the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What site? What about site B? It shares similar formation and strata. This sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move out our work there. So basically, they mined here while we were present? Site to be safe. Cody says we'll continue to monitor activity and its effects on life here. On the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the poles if you visit 2A to meet them. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from here. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about us. <laughs> They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor Melorai once told me about from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. Oh, uh, they, they had an opportunity to watch us in our lowest level of evolutions. Oh, uh, isn't that just, just heartwarming? I guess this is the way back up if I want to go. I don't know if I explored everything here that there was to explore. Though. Mm. So this is the place where I was already, right? Oh no, I actually cannot get there. Wait, what? How did I get there though? No, no, this is where I came from then, yeah? So there's nowhere else to go but up? I see, it seems so. Oh, this is such a wonderful place. You probably don't need to find this to ever win the game. Oh wait, there is another current here. I wonder if it takes me to the same place. Or is it like circular? Ooh, there's something here. What's this? Mm. Oh. Oh no, I can't read it. Look, there's a tuna fish can and... Is this one of the mining sites they talked about? Could be. Um, 
That's where we came from. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Yeah, I don't see anything else here. Let me know, is there anything else in these caves? I mean, I did found them, so if there's like a passage I failed to explore, things I failed to click on, you can let me know. Because it's just the matter of observation at this point, right? It's not like you're telling me some big secrets. It's just like, hey, Nehemiah, you're blind, you missed that. That kind of thing. Anyhow, let's go back up. I think. So I'm gonna get out of one of the other geysers then, I suppose. Now it's gonna be like the water's gonna spout up and we're gonna be like for one hell of a ride here. Oh, it seems like I just can't get up there. There we go. Whoa. Okay, we need to wait for the water. There we go. Whoa! Da -da 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 -da. So, wait. What? This is a do this is oh Huh So I think this is mining site 2A then yeah That only makes sense This is so interesting Um right Huh So we traveled quite a bit underground. Interesting. I guess I don't really need the ship. Maybe it's not just as simple as, hey, you missed that or missed this. It's more like there's a whole system of these things underground. Just waiting to be more explored, maybe. And then maybe not that long. So, I think it's easier to go with the ship, though, if I want to, uh, like, visit another location. I could also make it a wrap here. Yeah, okay, let's go into the ship. Read what does it say about this thing. So, hopefully enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you to have a wonderful day. Do some nice things. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Outer Wilds. No, my mind. Nice. There is more to explore here. Okay, don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. The nomad discovered a species of four right semi aquatic life forms in the waterways near the miners. Okay, don't tell me anything. I, I'm gonna search for it. There's more to explore here. So, in case that. Like, the game didn't tell me, I would be like, hey, tell me if there's more. But the game tells me, so you don't have to say anything, don't say anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to explore this next time, and then maybe we go to the Quantum Tower again and read the rest. Yep. The Neomer sending out. Bye-bye.